It's actually very scary when I realized this uh, amount of cars driving around with drunk drivers. So I said that it's like we have actually so many kamikaze drones, but luckily not exploding. <laughs> Actually, no one expected that there would be so many of those cars. People are driving, uh, drunk driving so, so, so many of them, and, and it was a bit of, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, they just can, can, can't sell them uh, as, as many as people are, are drinking. <laughs> so that's why came the idea, so okay, maybe send them to Ukraine. Uh, state uh, tax authority somehow handling them to, how to say, uh, as to uh, deliver back to market by auctions, and we decided why we should do so. If we can help to, oh really, national hero Renis Posnyaks, who is really de already delivered 1,000 cars to the front line, uh, we said, why you can take those cars? And he says, oh, that's very good. And right now is uh, tax authority cooperated with Twitter con yes, uh, convoys, and they're choosing the right uh, proper cars, and first delivery already they happen I'm very happy about it and Of course, we can't build any plants on uh, drunk divers. Uh, and of course, the law in place, if there will be more cars, we will, uh, we will give them uh, to Ukrainian uh, friends. I think that's a very good idea. Why? Because you shouldn't be driving and drinking at the same time. It's irresponsible and it uh, it uh, makes a lot of other people's lives in danger. So I think that's a very bad idea. But uh, the idea of sending those cars to Ukraine, it's very, it's very good. Es domāju, jebkura palīdzība Ukrainai ir laba. Jebkura. Tā arī vieglās automašīnas, viņiem ir, un tur nav tikai vieglās, tur ir arī 4x4, un ar piedziņu tā tad var sūtīt. Noderēs viņiem. Tikai auto. Pārbaudīt aparāt, izzinījāt. Paldies! Paldies! Paldies, Lēmīts! Yeah, no, 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 no